Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is Andy and in this How To we will discuss how we can disable the shutdown and restart buttons on a Windows Server machine. Now if you find yourself working a lot on a remote server, you see that it's easy to forget that you are on a remote machine or that these buttons are very close to log off button which you want to usually click. So you may want to disable the restart and shutdown machine so you don't accidentally shut down a remote server. To do this, we use the group policy editor. You can get to it by from the start menu you can either type in gpedit.msc which will bring up the program which is a group policy editor. When you launch it, if you go under the user configuration, administrative templates, you see an option that says start menu and taskbar. When you click on it, you're presented with a lot of options and if you scroll down the list, you need to find the remove and prevent access to the shutdown, restart, sleep and hibernate commands. If you double click on it, you see a dialog box that by default the option is selected as not configured at the top left. So you change that to disabled and you click OK and this will disable the shutdown and restart buttons on the machine. You do not need to restart the machine because this takes, uh, takes effect immediately. This is how you would disable the shutdown and restart buttons on a Windows Server machine. Thank you for joining and please visit our Performance Architects How To channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.